Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and on this episode we are making a juicy garlic crusted prime rib. You'll be surprised how easy it is to make a good prime rib. We'll start with a seven pound bone-in beef prime rib and I like to cut the bones away and tie them back with a kitchen string and you can ask your butcher to do this for you. This makes the prime rib way easier to serve and the meat stays super juicy. If you are cutting the ribs away from the roast, you will need a lawn kitchen string. Make the first tight loop around the roast and tie a knot. Then create another two or three loops to tightly hold the ribs onto the roast and secure the end with another knot. Now generously season the meat all over with two teaspoons of salt. Now cover it loosely with plastic wrap and let it rest on the counter for about three hours to come to room temperature. The roast will bake much more evenly if it's at room temperature to start. When the roast is nearly at room temperature, you can start on the garlic and herb crust. Mince six large garlic cloves and transfer them to a small bowl. And because this roast at a high temperature, it is important to mince the garlic with a knife and not use a garlic press for this recipe. Mince one teaspoon of fresh rosemary leaves from one sprig, or if you don't have fresh, you can use half a teaspoon of dried rosemary. Strip the leaves from two sprigs of thyme to get half a teaspoon of minced thyme, or you can use a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. Transfer the herbs to the bowl with the garlic, then add half a tablespoon of sea salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, and three tablespoons of light olive oil or any oil that has a high smoke point. And you just have to take a whiff of this rub to know that it's gonna be good. Our roast is now about at room temperature. Lightly pat it dry with a paper towel. Now rub the seasoning mix all over, focusing on the top and sides. Transfer the prime rib to a roasting pan with the bones side down. The bones create a rack for the roast. Now preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and place an oven safe thermometer in the thickest portion of the meat. Then bake at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Now without opening the oven door, reduce the heat down to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and continue baking for 14 to 15 minutes per pound for medium doneness. Mine took another hour and a half. Oh. <laughs> My house smells so good right now. Smells like Christmas. All right, and once that comes out of the oven, you wanna take out the thermometer and do not slice into it right away. You wanna let this rest for at least 30 minutes. So tent it with foil loosely. All right, and just leave it alone for a good half hour. And because it's on the ribs, you can just tent it right over the pan. If it doesn't have the ribs on your roast, transfer it to a cutting board, then tent it so you won't overcook it. All right, and while that's resting, I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. All right, mashed potatoes are done and it is time to carve up this prime rib because everybody's getting hungry. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Cannot wait to cut into this. And you can use a carving set or just a fork and a knife. Whatever you have on hand. Okay. Yum. Oh my goodness. Here we go. All right. And cutting the ribs off ahead of time like that makes it super easy to serve. Yum, yum. And you also want to take the string off too when you're serving for a crowd because I've never been able to make the string taste good. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yum. I cannot wait. And I don't know where my steak knife is right now, so this is gonna this is gonna do. <laughs> And these mashed potatoes, these are the ones that we make every major holiday. They are so creamy and fabulous. I'll leave a link below. Okay, here it is. The moment I've been waiting for. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 
Mm. 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 It's just melt in your mouth delicious. I love that garlic crust. It adds so much flavor to the prime rib. Wow, this is fabulous. I gotta have another bite. <laughs> mm. Prime rib is actually super easy to make. Don't be intimidated by it if you've never made it before. The key is to get a good thermometer because you just can't go wrong unless you over bake it. That's usually where people mess up. But prime rib is super easy. I hope you're excited to make this. And if you like this video, give us a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you're looking for more special occasion recipes, check out some of our all time favorites right over here and down there. And click below to subscribe. And when you do, make sure to click that little bell icon so you'll get a notification every time we post a new recipe. Thanks for watching.